Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how do we connect MySQL database to the Power BI desktop tool. That means, so in our previous sessions, we have discussed about the introduction to the Power BI. So in order to do some data analysis or some in order to do some uh, dashboards, we require some data and that data can be uh, we can get the data from different data sources and one one of the data source is this mysql so in our previous sessions we have discussed about uh, we are getting the data from excel or csv right so in this session we'll you will see how we can connect with the sql mysql right so first let me open the power bi tool and similarly we'll see i'll open the mysql and here let us check the database which are the databases which are available and uh, what are the different tables available in that database first so i'll use show databases so these are all the different databases which uh, my system is having so i'll go with the bec so use bec inside that we can get the tables so show tables so these are the different tables i am having right so let us connect to do this so go to the get data so this is a common step so if you are if your data is available in the excel or csv so in our previous sessions we have uh, click on this uh, get data we have uh, selected this one and we have selected excel or text or csv and now we are connecting with the mysql server right so here in this list you can't find this mysql so go to the more so at the end you will be finding the more click on more and after that you will be getting a pen yes here you just type mysql and here you can find out the mysql database select this and click on connect and see the next step it was asking about the server and the database which you want to connect so here the server is a local host so you can see so mysql workbench so here you can see localhost mysql 80 and localhost you can see the address localhost column 3306 so the localhost ip is 127.0.0. means that, that means so where in the the ip of the server where the mysql is existed so in my system the mysql is already available in my system only we are not using any explicit servers so i'm using the local host right and colon colon and you can observe the port number 3306 so we can also give that port number port number 3306 and which database we want to connect and you can observe here so we have a lot of databases bec information schema mysql performance schema sakila student system world youtube etc etc databases are there so let us check uh, let us go with the youtube so let us check is there are any tables here show tables yes we are having a, a different table so we can use the youtube right so i want to connect with the database called youtube database yes okay so automatically it will connect the database and you can find these are the different tables available in the youtube right so let us if you want to uh, get the details of this database so just click on here you'll get the preview so sid email mobile student contact see we, we can we can get the data from this one so youtube student see your this youtube student we are having see we are having this data all right so just load this one automatically the data will be loaded into your power bi desktop tool you, you got this data right see here we are having the data so that you can uh, use uh, uh, you can insert a different charts you can prepare different uh, i mean uh, 
the interactive dashboards for this particular data. So we we have connected the MySQL database to the Power Power BI tool, right? So go to the get data once again. Repeating, go to the get data. So just go to the more and uh, here just type MySQL in the search box MySQL. So you'll get this MySQL database. So connect and then it will ask about the server and database the server so the server means the place where mysql is existed so in my system only the mysql is existed so that means localhost we are not using any other servers so i'm using this the uh, uh, 127.0.0.1 and uh, there is a port number which i have shown you 3306 so use a colon and 3306 and give the database so let it be, I'll give you it as a BEC. I just want to connect with the BEC database. So, okay. So these are the tables which are available in this BEC database, see. And just load so that the data will be loaded. And now you can uh, create your uh, uh, analysis on this particular data, right? Very simple. This is a, a session to connect a MySQL database to the Power BI desktop tool. So if you are having any difficulty while connecting the MySQL database to the Power BI desktop tool, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.